show this right, feeling alive, nothing in sight, forever in flight, follow those lines, we'll make it this time, blurry street lights, work as a guide to memories that we're making tonight, oh yeah, we'll make it tonight, yeah. Hello and welcome back to another adventure. For those who follow me on Instagram, you'll have spotted already, this isn't Wales. But Wales was a washout today, so we changed our, our plans, decided to come to the Lake District instead. Uh, today, you've probably guessed it already, we've just walked past Blee Water, and our plan for today is skirt Blee Water, head over Side Pike, and then we're going up onto Lingmore. The reason why we chose that is because the heather's out at the moment and we're hoping for some nice uh, morning sun in the morning and we'll get some nice pictures. We're going to do a wild camp up on, uh, on Lingmore. I say we. Once again, I'm not on my own. Mr Noble's joining me. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. I have been up Lingmore before, so I have ticked out, ticked that one off. But I have never been upside Pike, so be good to see the top of that one. Did Lingmore in some really deep snow, so I'll put a, a link to that one just at the top corner. Feel free to watch that one after you finish watching this. So far. It's a nice day, <clears throat> but it's very windy. It's not even forecast this. It's forecast 20 mile an hour winds and clear skies from seven o'clock. So who knows what's going to happen? But we'll see, won't we? Stick around and find out how we get on. There's the Langdales. Just see pervy arc sticking out there. Done all them ones before. They're a great walk if you've never been up there. Beautiful area of the Lake District that. But to be fair, so is that. Blee Town, very picturesque town that. Do I need to say any more? Lucky Tony strikes again. Uh -huh. Well, they me dry when I'm out, it's only with you. We've come to the conclusion it could be Lucky Phil. Hopefully, it's just a shower, it's going to dry up. Let's see how we get on. Well, this is where the climbing starts in time with the rain it has promised to be clear tonight 
Let's see if the Met Office is right. Did forecast this rain. So, so far, it's been right. Well, sorry about that, we had to put you away. The storm that's just come through there then was brutal. I've never seen rain like it. My, my Garmin watch went off about 10 minutes ago saying storm alert. I'm not sure a Garmin watch can get it right, but the Met Office can't. But that was, we're wet, I'm telling you now. We're pinning our hopes and it's still clearing up. And then we can get a washing line out when we get to the top and dry our gear. It does look like it's clearing up down into the Langdale Valley though. Sorry about the rain on the lens, but I can't do anything about that for now. I'll bring you back in a bit. We're part way upside park at the moment. And the rain is still coming down, but not half as heavy as it was. I think I have got a bit of footage on my phone, so I'll show you. It's a bit grim. Oh you just have to excuse the audio for a bit. I've just taken the mic off so I can get too wet. But the rain is clearing up a bit now. Beautiful views on the lee side. As you can see, gorgeous heather everywhere. There's a the summit, a side bike. That's where we're heading to first. And then on this side, we've got the Langdales. What's not to like? I like two drip rats. Absolutely soaked to the skin. Oh, but the cloud blowing past there, blowing over the Langdale. So quick that storm's just moved through. And it could it could actually be coming out that sun. Let's hope it does. Because we need drying off. Rim. Well, we've had a bit of a break in the weather, so I've just got the camera out here to see if I could get some pictures with a bit of the uh, moody skies in it. So I'll see how they turn out when I get home. You know the script, I'll show you a lot at the end. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. But looks like the sun's trying to break out and it stopped raining. Always a bonus. There you go, sun's just coming on to all Langdales. There you go, that's the summit of Side Pike, 362 metres above sea level. Looking over towards the Langdale there. The wind hasn't died down yet. Oh man, it's heading that way up onto Lingmore. We can find a nice pitch up there in the wind. Oh man. Summit of Side Pike, and we're just skirting around the edge here before making our way up to uh, Lingmore. Sketchy path. Serves yourself right, Phil. You should be looking what you're doing. Ah. 
Well, this bit here, this is called Fat Man's Agony. We'll give you a closer look. Ooh. Here we go. Fat Man's Agony, we're doing it. Oh, no matter what they say, I've got inches to spare. <laughs> Oh. That's never something the wife's ever said to me, to be honest. Not <laughs> <laughs> even going there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only a small fell this, but it's not to be underestimated. It's a little tough bugger, this one. Some proper nice little scrambles. We've made our way around now from the summit. We're just going to follow this wall now all the way up to the uh, the summit of Lingmel. Lingmore, sorry. Oh, before I get uh, put right. <laughs> Well, the rain's here again. We've just stopped there to see if we can get a nice moody picture of that side park with a wall leading down to it. And Langdale's in the background. We're just on our way up Lingmore now. It's all about adventure time. That's a beautiful view down there. I'm putting you away now because I've got to get up this. How are you feeling, Tony? I'm a bit puffed, to be honest. He's a bit puffed, apparently. It's a tough climb this one. For a small fell it really is. Plenty ups and downs and gnarly path. It's good fun. cover behind this wall. Whew. Brutal! There you've got Lingmore Town, and then we've got the summit in sight now. There it is. That's the summit of Lingmore. <sighs> the rain has stopped, but the wind is brutal. 
but we won't have it any other way, would we? Adventure time. Lots of summit in sight. Still a bit dark now. It's a bit brighter over there though. Showed you there now, the summit's in sight. Lingmore fell. It's marked up as Brown Howe on the Ordnance Survey map. More climbing yet, or? Touching distance. That's the summit. A Lingmore fell. Brown Ho. 469 metres above sea level and it's a tad windy well we've just dropped off the summit we're losing the light pretty quickly now and we've just found this nice sheltered spot here so this is where we're going to pitch for the night. I think we'll be all right here. These rocks and uh, these lumps are just giving us a bit of cover. We don't need to be Rambo and stop up there in the absolute howling wind. Here will do us. I'll bring you back when I got the tent up. Well, I think they call it character building. That is what this certainly is. Oh my word, fearful. Well, as you can see, I've probably chosen the wrong tent for tonight. I'm in the little land jam. Because we were promised clear skies and no rain. Hopefully it might clear up. So I'm going to finish off getting all the gear ready in here and uh, get myself dry. I'll bring you back in a bit. I'm just drying myself off. I always carry a uh, a small microfiber towel in my pack so you just dry yourself off so you're not getting inside of your tent wet I've got my, my beds up now but I'm not going to get the uh, quilt out just yet um, I'll see if it stops raining before I get that out because I don't want to get that wet as you can hear no change in the weather Cheers. I think it's chopped up time. Because I am starving. And then I'll get the rest sorted out. Get out my wet clothes and get my dry clothes on. And hopefully it stops raining and the sun comes out. Said no one ever. In the late history. Well, we're more or less set up. There's not a lot of room in these Lansham ones, but we've done our best. Just had a quick brew and a boost. I've just stuck my bag just outside there with all the stuff that I don't need. And then today, or tonight, I'm on my Thermarest X Lite and I'm in the quilt tonight. I've uh, that. That's the ice flame quilt. If it stops raining, I'll give you a better look at it. Um, that's the sea to summit pillow. Uh, 
everything else self-explanatory i've got out the wet clothes now i've got my dry stuff on um got the down jacket on just for warm up a bit the only thing that i've not done is i've left my socks off i've dried my feet left my socks off because if i go back out my trainers are soaking so i'll just put my feet in the wet trainers and then um, each time i get back in i'll just dry them off and then tonight before i go to bed i'll put the socks back on or my dry socks on because uh, i don't want to get them wet and listen to that it might have stopped raining hopefully we might be able to give you a proper look, look round outside so i'll bring you back in a bit do you recognize that man how are we all doing Well, we stayed away from the trees while it's so windy. There's Tony Scarp. There's the Langdale Pikes. Park of Blisco, you can't see. And then there's my setup. Lansham well, 1, Flames Creed. And inside, looks like a bomb's gone off. And we've got my shorts on up here drying for tomorrow. All my gears down this side. I've got the table out upside down. When you get situations like this, it's easier just put it the other way around so nothing falls off it. And then inside, I told you that before, there's the ice flame quilt. It lofts up nicely that, and it's warm. So looking forward to getting in there later. Boom. Time to get some tea on. As you can see, it's gone pretty dark now and surprisingly enough the sky is still full of clouds and here comes the rain again it's never a good sign Adventure food's meant to be pot pot tonight. It's somewhere in here. Ta da! Well, the rain started again, so we had to crawl back to the tent. Anyway, meant to be pot pot tonight. I tried running a time lapse but I don't know whether that's going to be any good or not because we started roofing it down with rain so I've quickly ran and got the camera. Late tea tonight, 10 past 9. It's dark outside and so far the sky isn't clear. Well done Met Office. Nice one. Well, we'll snuggle down in the tent. We're just going to have a beer together. What are we on, Tony? I am on a stay puffed Tiny Rebel Marshmallow Porter. 5.2%. Pretty sweet. Ooh, right. No. Stella. Cheers, Tony. Cheers, everybody. Unfortunately, we're not being able to show you around a lot. Let's just hope that in the morning it's a bit drier and then you can get a, get a view of where we actually pitched. It's not a bad little spot to be fair. And we've only got a relatively short walk back down to the car. Cheers. Let's get the radio back on. Oh, there's the next one banging tunes on. Only problem is. We've got to turn you off to put the tunes on, otherwise we get docked on YouTube. Well, the rain's back, so it's time for Vimps so. Ain't gonna be no um, time lapses happening tonight, through the night. 
No astro photography, no nothing tonight on this one. What the total? Oh, well, I, I I really don't understand how the Met Office and um, the mountain forecast, the mountain weather forecast, can get it so wrong. Part way up here, Garmin watch goes off, storm alert. How can a Garmin watch know it's going to be bad? Yet the Met Office with millions of pounds worth of equipment still can't forecast the, the weather shocking well i don't think there's much point stopping up i don't think anything's going to happen outside so we're going to get our head down and then uh hopefully pin it all in the morning see if we get a nice uh, sunset so good night and i'll see you in the morning night night folks morning well we survived it's been a grim night but we have had a bit of shelter here so not been too bad it's actually stopped raining i'll give you a look outside it's still a bit breezy but it's looking a bit moody There's Mr. Noble. How you doing, folks? Are we all good? A bit, a bit wild last night, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's, what time is it, Tony? It is now 20 past five. We've got 10 minutes of quick brew. 20 past five, so it's, we've got, I think it's golden hour about 10 minutes. So, or golden hour starts in 10 minutes. So it's quick brew time and then get the cameras out. just had a frantic hour uh, trying to just get some pictures with a light on the heather and things like that so we've been running around everywhere trying to get some beautiful pictures to show you lot as usual I'll show you at the end but at the moment it's brightened up now the sun's come out hopefully we might get one or two nice shots so time for a bit of porridge now another cup of coffee and then start packing away see you in a bit It's time for another brew and some breakfast. I'll let that have its two minutes. Second one of the day. It's only quarter past seven. Well, after a frantic hour of taking pictures, it's always nice to sit down around the sheep poo and have your porridge. Oh, my, my, my. Nice. Well there you go, goes without saying, two tents here last night, no trace whatsoever. We've had a great time, great camp, even though the weather was really bad yesterday. Brightened up a bit today, a couple of rain showers this morning but nothing major. So, what I'll do, as always, I'll show you the pictures I've taken while we've been out. We'll head back down towards the car and then I'll bring you back when I get to the car. So enjoy the pictures, let me know what you think of them. 
See you in a bit. Well that's it, it's the end of another epic adventure. Hope you've enjoyed it, hope you enjoyed the pictures I've just put on at the end. And I'd like, just like to say a big thanks to Tony for his company it's and for mate. driving. Um, as usual, I'll drop a link to his channel below, so don't forget to go and check Tony's channel out. Beautiful views behind us. And that's it, until the next time. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you soon. See you later. Bye.